Hey guys, it's Rye here. It's a nice Tuesday, a little cold up in uh, Calgary, but uh, wonderful day. Hope you guys are doing great. Today's video is going to be obviously now that the elections kind of dealt with, the inauguration's over. We had that big spike that day. I was relying on it. I was talking about it. Um, so this video today is actually going to be something that I, it, well, telling you a little bit about what I've been doing over the last few days, researching. As you guys know, my portfolio only has about three stocks in it right now, WeedMD, SLL, LAC. I've been uh, talking about them in the past few videos. Feel free to go check that out. Um, but now I've been kind of, I'm, I'm trying to keep my portfolio small enough uh, where I feel safe in it at the same time to try to realize real growth opportunities. So I've been now kind of looking at dividend stocks. I'm not really big on that right now um, just because I don't have enough money to make the dividend payouts kind of make any sense to me. But they're, they're going to be in a long-term holding uh, for me, that's for sure. So I've got two that I've been doing a little bit of research on that I'm confident I'm going to be adding them to my portfolio 100%. You're going to want to stick around to see both of them. Okay, first one. Now, as you guys know, I'm big into the EV lithium markets, cannabis right now, um, and then some REITs, but I'll get into that. So first one is HMMJ. I'm going to have just a ticker up there in the price for you. HMMJ, it's trading right now. Uh, just over 12 bucks or something like that. They do offer a dividend. So basically what HMMJ is, it's the world's first uh, cannabis related ETF. So they own quite a bit. I'm just going to give you a quick rundown here. I have it written down just to give you an idea of what they own. Because if you're trying to get into the cannabis market, this is an amazing Canadian, Canadian ETF that you can purchase that owns uh, stocks all across North America. So you can really tap into that American market through a Canadian ETF. Nice thing about it being Canadian is when we're trading on Well Simple, zero fees, right? Commission free. All the links are below and in the description. So let me just give you a list of what uh, HMMJ has in its holdings. Some of uh, some of the companies they have. So they have Afria. We've all heard of that. We've all heard of Canopy. Obviously, Canopy Growth. Uh, there's the Kronos Group, Tilray. They have Aurora. And I just thought that this was funny. They got a, a few more, obviously, but I just thought this was funny. They also own a pretty major stake in Scott's Miracle Grow. Um, so that, that that's. That's pretty funny. Anyway, so where they sit right now, obviously, uh, they started in 2018, right around that 10 or 11 dollar mark. Uh, they jumped right up in 28, or they jumped in 2018, 2019 when we had that marijuana push uh, in Canada and the United States, and then dropped right back down. So it's pretty much where it started right now, which is an incredible buying opportunity. Absolutely amazing. You're getting in at the ground floor, essentially. Um, so that's kind of huge for me. And uh, again, with their quarterly dividend. It's a, it's a no-brainer payout for me. Uh, their dividend's a little bit shaky. Uh, it's not as consistent as some of the other ones. Uh, it can change quarter by quarter. But again, uh, just given the holdings that they have, this isn't necessarily gonna be one that you're holding for the dividend. That's just a bonus. You're gonna be holding this one for the potential growth. This is an easy 2X, 3X uh, when you hold it throughout the rest of the year. This is a long-term hold. I'd be holding this one for a year, two years, but this is an easy two or three times your money. Honestly, HMMJ, I would look into getting that. If you're kind of hesitant on getting into specific marijuana companies, well, let's go for the world's first ETF for uh, cannabis companies. World's first. It's amazing. And it's Canadian, right? So it's a win-win when we do it all in well simple. That's what I'm kind of looking at. That was the first one. I want to get into that because as you guys know, uh, I own a... Uh, I own, well, I'm not going to say a significant share. I own some shares in uh, the company WeedMD. Um... And that's a personal project for me, but at the same time, you know, I wanted to get into the market. I just wasn't really sure how I could get there effectively given my cash flow right now, obviously. Um, so this ETF came around at the right time. This is going to be perfect. I am going to be dumping money into HMMJ. It's a no-brainer for me, to be honest. Absolute no-brainer. So, and I know I was telling you guys where I was at. Now, I'm going to get to the second dividend in a second, so stick tight. Um, but I know I was telling you guys last time... And if you go through all my videos, you'll see, sorry, uh, that I wanted to have 1200 bucks ish accumulated for this Wealth Simple Challenge by the end of January. Now, full disclosure, guys, I'm not going to have 1200 bucks because I've, straight up, this is just going spare change and then YouTube growth. And, and uh, like I said, if you go to the other videos, some lifestyle changes and stuff like that, right? Now, I could easily dump a few hundred dollars in there, but it kind of defeats the purpose of the whole challenge that we're kind of doing here together. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to keep going with the spare change, lifestyle changes, and then YouTube. 
So, and I've, I made quite a bit of money on YouTube. There's actually a few people I got to give a shout out to on the next video. Uh, 10 people today actually did the, the uh, well, I found out about it today, but 10 people uh, as of this morning, just from the last few days, uh, signed up for the challenge, did at least a $100 trade and they got their free money. And that's the beauty with Wellsimple, right? So if you trade a hundred bucks, Wellsimple will give you $10 uh, for free, 10% return on investment immediately, real cash, and you can withdraw it immediately in your account if you really wanted to. So real cash, uh, again, I got the links all below. When you sign up under my link, you get that free $10 for your first $100 trade. So that's, it's free money, it, it, it's a no-brainer. Uh, and that's why we're using Wealthsimple. And again, that's why we're gonna stick entirely to Canadian stocks, just because Wealthsimple has $0 commission on any Canadian stock and ETF, $0. If you start, you go to a bank, you're paying commission. You go to Quest Trade or whatever, you're paying a commission. So if you're holding Canadian stocks, it doesn't make any sense to do it outside of anything but Wealthsimple. Now, if you're doing American, do your own thing. Now, if you're gonna buy American shares, I personally would just do it through your bank, keep it consolidated and clean. But if we're doing Canadian, the only place you can get commission free, well, simple. So anyway, that was the first one, uh, HMMJ, quarterly dividend, but I believe it, the, this is more a growth stock than a dividend stock. Still though, it's one I would put in your holdings and sit on it, just let it go. Okay, so second one, this one's a no-brainer again for me. I've, I've mentioned it a few times throughout my videos. Again, you're gonna wanna start the first one and track my progress on this challenge. Regular guy, just like you guys, right? So next one is Rio Can. This one's big. So in Canada, they own pretty much every bit of commercial, uh, commercial real estate you can possibly imagine. They were hit really hard during the, uh, well, in March, just like everything was, and they haven't recovered fully yet. Now it's totally understandable given uh, rent and how things have been going with deferments and this and that, right? A few months ago, they replaced their CEO. He was actually the uh, founding CEO. He's been there for tens and tens of years, I think over 20 years. They actually just replaced him a few months ago uh, and they're going kind of a new change uh, or a new path. Uh, they're, they're, it's a post-COVID world now, I guess, and they're going uh, full tilt and they're doing very well. So just, I got some information here on it. So just to give you an idea about Rio Can, this one, by the way, is amazing. I love this one. I would add this one all day long to your portfolio. So 52 week span for Rio Can. They went all the way from in, in around 12 bucks at the low of March and they were before COVID, they were at about $28, okay? So 12 to 28 bucks, right now they're sitting uh, just over 17. So we're on the lower end of things. So we've obviously got uh, quite a bit of room that we could go, about $10 share value we could go. It's about a 40% just to get to where we were uh, pre-COVID. So there's obviously a lot of potential in there. You can uh, 40, 50% your money, or sorry, 60% your money like right off the top once we recover. Beautiful thing about this too, they always have over about a million uh, daily volume and you're gonna want daily volume. If you're trading something less than a half a million daily volume, um, it's just harder for you to sell. Now I don't recommend, we're not here to day trade anyway, right? I just, I kind of, I, I try to stick away from things where in a worst case scenario, worst case scenario, you guys always have to be prepared for the worst case. You, if you can't get your money out immediately, I don't want to be, I don't want anything to do with it because that's kind of the whole point. This has to be, this has to work for me as much as I'm going to work for this challenge, right? So Real Can's awesome. It's got about a million-ish daily volume, a lot of times more. Their dividend, it pays out monthly. That's the awesome part. Every single month, you're going to get a dividend payout. They pay out about eight cents a share. It equates to about five and a half percent annual dividend. That's not too bad if you're going to let some money sit there. Nice thing though, that five percent, uh, five and a half percent monthly, or sorry, five and a half percent annual dividend. Okay, that money coming into your account every single month, that's great. But this sitting at 17 and change, it can go all the way up again, again, just to hit the levels it was before, right up to 28, 29 bucks. So this is also like MMJ, going to be a growth, uh, growth dividend as well as the payout too. So that's why I'm kind of picking things. I'm not just going to go for a dividend stock and let it sit there and sideways trade for two years and just be bored out of my mind, right? Because I don't have a hundred grand to make it worth my while to invest all of my time into a dividend because it just wouldn't make any sense for me, right? So it'll be something, if you're gonna do dividend, be smart about it, guys, and look for a growth stock that has a dividend. So you're gonna, want, you're gonna double dip that chip as many times as humanly possible, but that's what I'm gonna do. So that's the two now that I'm gonna be adding to my portfolio, uh, well, as soon as, as soon as possible. Um, just to reiterate, HMMJ, um, and then Rio can, both of which 
amazing growth potential, and then again, the dividend aspect of things, right? So these are the only two dividend stocks that I have. Uh, this now makes five for more, my, my future portfolio as I get there. WeedMD, LAC, SLL, RealCan, as RIO, and then HMMJ, which is the Horizons uh, Marijuana ETF, right? So those are the five that I'm sticking with. If you go back and look at my videos, you're gonna see my picks are pretty good. Like really good guys. You're gonna wanna hit the like button, subscribe. I try to put these videos out close to the end of the, the, the uh, market day because I don't really like influencing people. Uh, I, I don't wanna directly influence you to do something on today, for instance, and then by the end of the day, you lose money, you hate me, this or that, or I don't want anything to do. I want you to do your own research tonight after you've had some time to really think, watch all my videos, check it out, do your own research, and then make a really a sensible decision, whatever you end up doing the next day. That's kind of what, how I plan these videos out. I know it's smarter to release it, you know, right around 10 o'clock Eastern, but I don't want to influence anybody that way. It's, this is, we're, we got a community going here, right? This is absolutely fair between both of us. So that's why I release it when I do. So anyway, those are the five now that I have in my portfolio. Today was strictly a dividend and growth stock video. Hit the like button, hit subscribe, guys. If this is your first time actually watching the video, you're gonna to wanna to go back all the way to video one and catch up. Why that is, is because I'm a regular guy, right? So if this is your first time watching the video, this is the Wealth Simple Challenge. $100 to $25,000 within a year, based on spare change, lifestyle changes, and then income that I can generate from YouTube, right? Um, and I'm doing that with Wealth Simple, uh, investing in Wealth Simple, and it's because it's Canadian, it's free, it doesn't cost anything with commission, so it was a no-brainer for me, right? So I've got the links in my description, in the comments, in my about section. When you sign up for Wealth Simple and do your first trade uh, with my link, you're going to get ten dollars. Okay, so a hundred dollars for your first trade, you're going to get ten dollars for free. It's immediate. Uh, it's a, and that's helping me too because it throws an extra little bit of cash in my account, which helps grow to my twenty-five thousand dollars, right? So it's a win-win, it's a total community-based thing. If this is your first video, you'll notice that there's comments riddled through my videos, and you'll also notice I respond to absolutely every single one of them. I try to, I'll say 99.9%. Um, so reach out to me, guys, leave a comment, ask some questions. I don't, I'm just letting you know now, I'm not really in the crypto zone or anything like that, but uh, anything you want, ask, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna answer it. I sit here and I just I'm gonna get back to you guys at, at any time, right? So. Feel free to comment and I will get back to you. So like I said, hit the like button, hit the subscribe. Definitely feel free to share it if you know someone who's also starting a new journey. 2021 is our year. If we fail this year, we failed. It's not the people around us. It's not the world around us. We failed. It is set up for success. If It almost frustrates me, but if we can't do it, that what does that say about who we are? Okay, as and I'm talking me and you, not as a society. I'm talking me and you. Okay, if we can't do this simple little thing to change our lives, okay, look at what it's already done for me. I've saved almost a thousand dollars in just spare change. It'll be a lot more as it adds up. I'm growing a YouTube channel. I'm expanding completely. I mean, it's amazing. My lifestyle changes and food habits alone are incredible. And that was just to save money for this challenge. So this is all on us, guys. We absolutely have to do this. It really irks me when I see people start something and then bail. And that was me all day long, right? So, and now this is why 2021, 2020 killed us. So 2021 is absolutely our time to smack it with a hammer and take it. This is our year and we're going to rock and roll. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Definitely leave a like, subscribe. And like I said, all the links are below if you want to join the Well Simple Challenge with us. It's probably about 40 or 50 of you guys who've joined it now so far. It's amazing. We're all rocking and rolling. Uh, and then uh, and we're, we're going to go upwards and onwards from here for, well, the challenge is for a year, but who knows how long this is going to last, right? If we all keep rocking and rolling, making money, and just save and change in our lives, we might do this a little bit longer. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, get back to me in the comments, and uh, I will definitely uh, chat with you. So have a good day, guys. Bye.